Hi, it's Tess, and I'm here today with a flip through of my bullet journal. My friend Holly from River Street Sticker sent this to me a couple months ago. Um, I think it is a Lectorum 1917. I think that's how you pronounce that, but I'm not sure. This is the first time I ever used a bullet journal. I have absolutely no talent when it comes to drawing or hand lettering. So you're going to see what a bullet journal looks like with somebody that has no talent because I find personally, and I know a lot of people in the community that maybe are unsure about starting something. I'm here to tell you, just do it anyway, because I really like this, even though I'm not very good at it. And I'm okay with that. And I enjoy using it. So if you're not happy with your handwriting or you can't draw like me or any kind of stuff like that, don't be afraid to bullet journal. Even if you just write things down in columns or just do a little thing on the side with stickers or washi, just do it. You can do a lot with markers and pens that aren't actually drawing. Um, so we're going to get started. This is normally just a plain blue color, but I ordered this beautiful decal from Nicole Kelly Creations on Etsy. She was kind enough to special make it for me for the front of this notebook. She did a fabulous job. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. It looks great on the front of here. And then I made from Planner Chan. She was making these really cute, um, I don't know what you want to call them, dashboard kind of things with the clear pockets from Target. So I just made a big one to use as a bookmark for in my bullet journal. And I put one of my pen loops from my shop, Polywog Plans, on there. And I just stuck a pen on there. This is the Sharpie pen. I'm going to set that aside. In here I have my Kina Prints little Tessa thing that I laminated. My friend Fossey, she got this made for me, which I thought was so nice. This little freebie from 15 Pearl. I have a piece of vellum. And this is from Lisa Lorene Plans. And I have a little paper clip and a little journaling card. So I just have those all tucked in there. And a Target dollar spot pocket. And it's kind of cute and fun. There's nothing on the back. It's just laminated cardstock. I didn't use acetate or anything. <clears throat> and then in here is my Planner Society little pencil pouch. These are Stablio pens. It was just a pack I bought. Here is a Ruchon Petite, a black lip pen. And a Faber Castell Pit Artist pen. And here I have a pink eraser. You're definitely going to need an eraser and a pencil. And my Tombow dual ended pens, markers, whatever you want to call them. Those are in there. And then I dug out my Crayola Super Tips because everybody said that these are great for bullet journaling, and they actually are. I have a ton of them. I bought them for my creative Bible journaling, so I have a ton of these. So I also use the Micron pens that I got at Michael's. There's a couple different tips in the pack, a one, a three, and a five, and one more pen are the Illustrated Faith markers. These are nice because you can use them in the Bible and they don't bleed. There is a .65 and a .25 tip, and you can buy them on Dayspring. So let's get into the bullet journal. I was so anxious about starting this. Like I, I knew I wanted to start in July. It was for, you know, half the year when I didn't know where to begin. So I didn't fill out this page. It just says name and address. I, I left it blank. There's an index. I didn't feel any need to use an index. I was just going to go by month. So the first thing I did was this page that says blessed. Um, I don't remember who it was. Was it Boho Berry? Somebody on YouTube said to scribble the Tombow markers on a baggie, spray them with water, and then rub it on the page to make a pretty watercolor. I did that. It was my first attempt, and it kind of has the lines are a little too straight for me. I will do it different again the next time. So that was my first page, and I don't handwrite very well, so I printed this on vellum, and I taped it down. 
And then this was my July monthly layout. This was the cover page for that. So I did this first and this was blank. So I did the Hello July and then I put on some um, die cuts or ephemera, whatever you want to call it. And some watercolor in the back. This is the second time I attempted watercolor. Watercolor eludes me. <laughs> it's gorgeous and beautiful. And I love it so much and everybody else's. And when I try to do it, it looks not the greatest. But this does look better than this. So for these, you're thinking, boy, Tessa, you said that you didn't know how to do any kind of hand lettering. I don't. I don't know how to do any kind of hand lettering at all. I cheated. I had these little letter cutouts from God only knows where. They're just a whole bunch. I just ripped them off, which ones I wanted, laid them down, traced them. And then I added these little tick marks to like dress it up. This I actually wrote in pencil, just freehand, and then colored it in with marker. And then I went back and added a month at a glance over here as an afterthought with a little bit of washi and washi over here. <clears throat> Okay, so the first thing I put in here was my month at a glance and the gratitude journal. And I just kind of drew lines around it and wrote this out. This is a sticker. And then over here, I'm writing down one thing for each day as a highlight and my gratitude. These are favorite meals and an order tracker. And as they come in, then I highlight it. This was a brain dump. I didn't touch it. It is already, what, July... 23rd and I haven't touched the brain dump so I'm not going to add this again because it's just a blank page then I have quotes I use a two-page spread for quotes you'll see because I set up August this morning that I pushed it down to one page because I didn't think all this was necessary I actually went back and added washi to fill in some of the gaps so I'm going to put a few quotes in here and then I'll call that a day these are scriptures that I like or that type of thing that um, resonated with me. I added a couple little die cuts and some washi at the top. I just colored this in with marker. I used that as my main um, focal point. It's kind of messy. It's a little too dark. I wish it would have been lighter, but I just colored it in with marker. Remember, it's a learning experience. Then these are travel quotes that I like. Um, this watercolor turned out pretty good. Much better than other ones. And then under here it says, let's get away. And I have listed things or places I'd like to go. Then I have movies that I want to see this month. I watched Beauty and the Beast, but the other two I didn't watch. YouTube video ideas. Okay, so August is a little bright. <laughs> so I did another month at a glance with some die cuts. I was trying that drop lettering thing. I don't know. It's the first time I ever tried that. So, oh well. This I just traced around a cup holder and I kept moving it, you know, and tracing again. So it gave it that funky look. And then I put hearts around it. Just, you know, trying stuff. <laughs> trying to be creative. So this is my setup that I did this morning. So this is Grateful Heart. And here I just wrote capital letters with the marker and then I wrote in it cursive inside. And I added some washi. So I'm trying to like stick with a color theme. I don't know if you noticed. This was more pinks for this month. This is going to be more blues for August. So on here it's going to be just a highlight for each day. Anything. A doctor's appointment. Um, you stubbed your toe, you cooked tacos, whatever, just whatever you want to write. And then favorite meals in order tracker. Quotes. This is where I, then here I took a roll of washi and did the same thing that I did in the front just to kind of tie it together. So this is just going to be one page for quotes. Then movies and YouTube I put on one page and scripture I put on one page. I messed up a little bit up here, but I don't care. So I did the same thing where you wrote the capital letter and then you cursive wrote inside it. I like how that looks. And that's it. That's all for August. And I just stuck with that colored theme and added a little washi. And yeah, so 
don't be afraid of trying new things, even if you know that you don't have the talent that some people do. Because when I watch, watch through and look at Instagram or YouTube on other people's bullet journals, I'm like drooling. Like Sunshine Sticker Co. is incredible. Boho Berry is incredible. Like there are a lot of people out there or they're just so good and so talented and it just is amazing. And I know I don't possess that talent because let's be real, you know what talent you have and which ones you don't. But you can still use a bullet journal and be creative and not possess those talents. It's not anything that should stop you or inhibit you from trying something new. So try new things. Don't be afraid. Be as creative as you can be and share those ideas with me. I want to see you guys doing bullet journaling that maybe was afraid to do it or isn't that great at lettering or can't draw a stick figure like me. I can't draw a stick figure at all. Um, I could barely draw a circle. That's why I had to trace stuff. And then tag me on Instagram. I want to see it. I want to see your pictures and your bullet journals and things. All right. Thanks for watching and I will see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.